Perfect. Recording in progress. Do not let petty jealousies and trivial personalities influence our deliberations. Let us uphold always the obligation of unselfish comradeship and loyalty to our organization and the town of Cohasset. Uh, I now declare this meeting of the Cohasset Council on Elder Affairs duly open for the transaction of business. Okay. I, I care not. It doesn't matter. It, it, it's, why, why, I mean, if it's something you can just boil a print yeah. and pull over, that's fine. Okay, uh, let me see. We all have agendas, I think. Uh, first order of business today is to, for everybody to introduce themselves as we have a new associate member, uh, Marsha Sylvia. Many of you know Marsha, but uh, for her benefit, if we can go through introductions so uh, she has an idea of who's here. I'll start. I'm Rich Hines. I've been on the board six or seven years, currently the chairman. Uh, let's see, I'm a double E from Northeastern and an MBA from Clark. Work for all the high tech companies in the state. Uh, I'm also commander of the VFW in Cohasset. And um, supposedly the director of the Valor Act, if that ever happens. <laughs> uh, <laughs> working, working with town employees, uh, excuse me, Nancy. Um, uh, present <laughs> company accepted. Yeah, th this was uh, supposed to be in place July 1st, and here it is, the uh, middle of September. I don't know what that is. Well, this is uh, an opportunity for any veteran to do uh, service hours, work as a volunteer, oh, right. any okay. discipline in the town, and get a tax rebate uh, at the end of the year, uh, up to $1,500. Could I just add to that? Um, I was at a meeting with Chris Sr. and um, Megan and the uh, accountant and the treasurer, and they need to get Chris to agree to whatever terms we're going to have for that Valor Act, and then it has to go before the board, uh, select board, before we can then put it into place. So right now, from the conversation we had, it looks like they're going to try to do it, and then all hours have to be in, I believe, by, it's going to be a short window this time because it has to um, reflect the the fourth quarter, I think, so they have to have all the hours in. Not quite exactly sure of the timeline, but it's shorter this year because of that. And then it should start again, like, I guess, January 1, so that they can start accumulating all of their hours. So it's coming along, um, but it's what's not going to be in July 1st. And it's just um, veterans. Yeah. Currently, there, it's there's something. Yeah, yeah there, there's um, some, and I'm still working on that. There's a piece where we can have a veteran who's really disabled have, have someone else work for them on behalf of them uh so we'll see how that goes we may be able to also get the uh, seniors as well because i know that'll be next so that's going to be the the next thing i think once they get this through the select board i think it's easier to then just yeah. add the senior to it as well it's like typical government you know yeah. they agree to do it but uh they're waiting for waiting for you to die off before they have to <laughs> so anyway uh so that's my introduction uh and if we want to Diana? Uh, I'm Diana Karcher, and I've been on board for a long time. Yeah, long time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm vice president uh, currently. Uh, I also work with the swim center a great deal, and um, I also work as a volunteer for Medicare and uh, do uh, instructional work with them for uh, instituting insurance policies and and trying to explain to them, um, or to people, uh, the ins and outs of Medicare and, and what fraud and abuse is. So, what are you doing in your spare time? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Play bocce. I yeah. play <laughs> Queen of oh, bocce. Oh, and that's card. That's the important yeah. thing. I play bocce. <laughs> uh, Jim. My name's Jim Murphy. I. Uh, have been on the board four or five years. I don't know. Um, I spend a lot of time in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. Yeah, he's yeah. very good at. It. I know, right. Yeah. yeah. That's good too. And Marsha Ami Lane Coin, welcome. It's great Thank to have you. you on board. I am a retired CPA, hence I typically serve as treasurer in whatever volunteer position <laughs> I'm in. And I've been on the board for probably I don't know nine or ten years, I think. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome. I'm Eleanor. I volunteer a lot. She sure does. <laughs> Probably 
10, 15 years. I don't know how long I've been. Yeah, I put you guys all in. I, I, I put the other books. girl in my vista. So <laughs> I don't know if it's this month or next month. Uh, if it's oh, not wow. this month. This is, is September. Is it this month? And I can tell you what. Everybody no. is. I saw not, uh, okay. Next month, you're all going to be highlighted. And it tells everybody's <laughs> year. So uh -oh. oh, wow. Oh, wow. I thought it was. Uh -oh. yeah. Oh, I guess uh -oh. it was right after, yeah. um, I, right after you got um, on the board, so I had to say we're expecting you. So I thought it was my August <laughs> If you haven't seen your names, that means you're not reading my, my article. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Beth Tarpey. Um, I don't know. I've been on the board probably about as long as you, and I can't remember how long that is. And I'm also the liaison to the Affordable Housing Committee. And I've gotten involved with the friends of Elder Affairs too, and we do the cafe and stuff. So I enjoy my time now. Mm -hmm. Happy now, Nagel. Marsha and I have been friends for a very long time. <laughs> but I'm so glad you're on the board. <laughs> I'm so excited to see that. Um, I'm the, I've am the. i been on the board, and I think, nine years, almost nine years. And I'm the latest on to the house and club as well. So welcome. Thank you. Oh, I'm Marcia Sylvia. <laughs> I've been on the board about 10 minutes. <laughs> and um, I've been hanging around here for a while doing activities and things. And um, um, thought I kind of got, I sort of volunteered. Britt said, hey, how about. Did someone yeah, volunteer right, yeah. you? Yeah. 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 Just planted a seed. Uh -huh. yeah. And I said, yeah, I have issues. I'll do that. See yeah. what I can. <laughs> yeah. Great, so, glad you did. Well, I'm excited to see how it goes. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And of course, Nancy is our director. Yes. Uh, yes, I am the director. I've been here. I was the assistant director uh, for, I think, five or six years and came on about three years ago as the director. So um, enjoy working with you all. So happy to have Good. one more excited, engaged member to us. So thank you. That's what we need, right? Okay, can, has everybody seen the minutes from last month? Yeah. Are we comfortable with that? I move to accept yeah. the minutes. Okay. Second. Uh, the motion, on the motion, on the motion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes carry. Uh, can we go for the treasurer's report now? All righty. The report um, that I sent out uh, you'll, there's a little reconciliation at the bottom of the page because we still have not, the town hasn't closed out their final numbers for June 30th. Usually it's done by now, but uh, maybe she's really, she didn't, I don't know why, but it, it may be done today, who knows. But as of the point in time when we, we, we received the town reports, it hadn't been completed. But I'm sure it'll be done for next month. So next month we'll make sure that we're all in agreement with the town. Um, as you'll note, the uh, receipts and appropriations in the general fund were 65634 The first two months of the fiscal year are typically combined uh, we don't because we don't meet in August. So um, that number 65, a little high, but it's right within what we would expect within our budget for fiscal 2024. Um, under the grants, I have a new format that Nancy and I had talked about changing our format. It's not in the copy that you had received, but I do have a new that I'll have you look at and see if that's the way we want to go, just to break out the three different grants that we have, oh, just to see the activity of what's there, because there's a lot of carry forward in the formula grant, but it, during the first two months of this fiscal year, there was only activity <clears throat> in the um, ECHO how do, what's it called? Echo Air, Earmark. Oh, the Earmark, yes. Which Nancy will address in her report. Um, so we did receive $12,500. We do expect to receive $25,000. It's to fund outside um, improvements, the pergola. And um, Nancy expects to spend the whole amount of the twenty-five, but they give you twelve-five, and then we go in and give them the supporting documentation. And uh, when we're complete, they'll give us up to twenty-five thousand. Um, under revolving fund, we're in a positive position with one thousand six hundred and twenty-six net uh, gift accounts. The receipts of five thousand one seventy and expenses of five thousand forty-six. 
all relate, well, primarily relate to social worker activity. We receive funds from the Social Service League, Marsha, and then we pay the salary, and it runs through our books, okay. even though it's not money. You know, it's money coming in and then going back out again. Um, oh, and the van replacement, there is that 31795000 that's reflected as an encumbrance in um, August, the purchase order was recorded. Nancy will follow up with that as well. So that's the purchase of the new oh, van. I'm not sure when it's coming exactly, but it's on the books. It's on the books. So the leftover money from the 66000 that we got at Town Hall, we think is just probably going to have to go back to the, you know, we'll go back into the town. The cost of the van is only $31,000? Yeah. Our cost. 20%. Power 20%. Oh, yes. yes. Oh. Thank you. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. I was having a little heart attack over yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> I never heard of it. Our, our, yeah, our I know. For that cheap. It was 20%. So it was, I think it was $105,000. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And is that the it's full cost that fit it out yeah. and everything? Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's great. 100000 for it all in, wow. all in, huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, well, it's more like 126,000. 126, um, wow. We're all in, but I got like whatever we needed. I didn't think we were going to get another van for quite a while, so we got whatever I and a, a few extras. Everything that they could think of. Yeah. Well, good. Why not? That, that's. Well, yeah, well I, and that's the well. thing. I mean, we, I got something to it, circulate the air. God forbid we ever have another mm -hmm. uh, um, pandemic mm -hmm. and we can't open the windows. So we got like extras like that. I got something to help with the wheelchair. Uh, when you put the wheelchair in, it kind of guides you through it because that seems to be a, a problem for some of the drivers. It's really scary to make sure you're locking somebody in good in there. So um, it's a system where it's helping them um, put put on a um, green light and red light and and direct you kind of as oh, to how to um, put it in. It's supposed to be faster. So things like that I thought might be really helpful to both the the um, seniors who go in the van and for the drivers. Uh, we added those kind of, um, you know, not a lot. We didn't go crazy with it, but we did do, I think, the few things that we needed to make mm -hmm. that um, best for us or this community. So Great. And Great. wait list for the, how long did we have to uh, it won't be until uh, I believe they say next June is when we expect this it. coming June. And when did we order it? Uh, twenty four. Yeah, next a year from yeah. June twenty four or twenty five. Yeah, twenty four. Okay. Yeah. Right. And when did we order it? Twenty two. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, when the yeah when we first. Did when it. there weren't any. Yeah. 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 Well, if I can suggest that we hold on the balance of the sixty-six grand until we get the van and see if there's anything else we want to put into it. Absolutely, we talked know. about that. Can we can we keep that thirty-one thousand? Well, for for a while, at any rate. But you know, we don't we, have control. Well, right. well we, know you know, we need to have room for the liquor cabinet. And, uh, <laughs> I knew that was coming. Why did yeah. I know that? Yeah. Was coming? Exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah, we'll see what town hall does with it. But with, there is a request. I'm going to offer it. Not to ask Paul that. I was going to ask Paul, so do we have anything else in the lineup for the, um, you know, capital that I just saw him this morning, but um, we will pursue that okay. and try to keep it, but chances are. That, no, I have, if, you know, we, we should return it if we don't use it, but oh, let's exactly. keep, keep it until we see what we need. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So if we did do, if we did do the breakout of the three grants, you know, it's, it gets so tight. The schedule, Nancy, I mean, I don't want to, it's not a big deal. People may not even care. But if I did do it, we'd have a two-page document, I think is the easiest way to make it readable. We would have the three different grants activity, the carryover balances by grant, and then that total line flows into, real, it's hard to make more columns across the page yeah. and make it readable flows into the top page as the um, total grants. Yeah. So if you like to see the detail, I think it's it's good to see like formula grant. We have a carryover under the formula grant of 24000 mm -hmm. that we have to spend. So it's good to look at it and think, OK, how are we spending that? Right. What's our mm -hmm. plan for that money? Um, same with Owen Arbor. We have a accounting correction to make on that. There was some accrual adjustments made when ARPA came through a year and a half ago 
that's going to be reverse itself out. So actually, yeah, our we don't have that money balance. Whatever, and right. Maybe next month we'll make. Well, when we meet, we're going to meet with Jennifer to go over the carry over balances and this reconciliation. You'll see duplication of receipts. It's just a printing problem, I think, with the system. But the system is generating a town report that counts receipts twice. Remember, you yeah. brought that up to me a couple mm -hmm. of said, Oh, yeah, that's been going on for a while. So we want to get that cleaned up on the way that that's printed. Why does that do that? I don't know. But it's been doing it for a while. Well, we're restricted on how we spend the grants, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But And Nancy has plans, but sometimes, like that formula grant got away from us. We, right. It's right. a lot to be spent. We were on. hoping it was going to start the, with the formula grant we we're hoping to do with the kitchen coordinator position. Right. Uh, so I'm actually happier that we have a little extra before we start the position because, you know, we have to pay out of that. Any increases, everything has to come out of that um, that grant. And so we know the formula grant is going to stay pretty steady. But as if this person here is here a long time and we get the, you know, cost of living increase and then if they do well and they get a bump up. I mean, all that comes out of the grant money, so um, I need to have a little cushion. Yeah. Doesn't that transition to a town employee at some point? <laughs> town manager would allow that. Yes. Past experience. That ain't happening. Yes. Yes. Right. Past yes. experience. Past experience. experience. Yes. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, it would. Yeah. yeah continue. That's that's the that's what that's I think goal. is the goal. Yeah. That's why they have the formula grant so that you can try out a position, see if, it, if it's needed, if it, if you can warrant the position. But um, some some people, some senior centers have had formula grant positions only, like forever. Like that's wow. what they use the money for is a position and don't expect to turn it over. So mm -hmm. it really just depends on every. <clears throat> so probably would be good if you could give us the breakout and then it's up to people. You know, we can look at it before the meeting anyway. They don't want to bring exactly. It It'll be distributed yeah. along with the regular yeah. report. So just know that you'll be looking for a two-page report yeah. Yeah. Um, as opposed to the one. Where does that formula grant come from? Uh, Executive Office of Elder Affairs, the, the state. State. Yeah. And it's, am I correct, it's based on number of seniors? Yes, and, and I will, it's, that's in my report, so okay. it's going to bump up. Oh, good. And do you want to talk about the echo, uh, the earmark, the 25,000 that's going to be coming in? Yes, so that um, is, um, so the 25,000, we have 12,500 economic <coughs> grant that um, was passed in the last of the end of the fiscal year, last fiscal year, um, $25,000 um, to various communities who have, uh, who approached them and asked for the money, I guess. Um, <laughs> to say what we can use it for. So we decided to do the whole thing. Thing. <laughs> for the uh, pergola outside so we could really expand the outside um, opportunities for people. And I'm still working with um, Glenn Pratt and the facilities department as far as what we can, how big we can build it out there. Um, and so that was part of my report. It needs to come. So they think it's going to be about a $40,000 pergola. And if we get um, uh, uh, 45,000. We get 25,000 from the state. Um, I need your support in using the rest of that money, the balance, about 20,000 from the um, gift account is um, what we're looking at. And in the under gifts, we do have unrestricted, an unrestricted balance in the gift fund of 39,000, over 39,000. Oh, okay. So good. we have... Um, uh, what is it? Thirty. Excuse me. Unrestricted is thirty-two thousand four hundred and fifty-two dollars as of so August twenty-five of that. Though it's, it it'll be yeah. But, but it's been sitting there, right? It's been How sitting there for a yeah. long time. Yeah. Long time. It's been growing. Yeah, it seems like a good way to spend it to me. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and maybe formula fund. If there's any left over right, on we'll that, we could touch that. upon yeah. that. And that might um, be a great idea, maybe even half and half or something. Just yeah. Is the formula fund basically unrestricted? Or it's well, that's, it has to be senior related and it has to be good for the seniors of the community. They're very flexible with it. Before we used to give need to give them a um, an, an accounting of what we were going to spend the money on. Uh, but now they just give us the money and assume that we are doing it for the best of our uh, the older adults of our community. Definitely mm -hmm. benefit a wide range of people. It, it definitely the, would, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So I think that that would be a, a really good, um, and since we have the extra formula grant, 
Exactly. Uh, money. I think that's a wonderful idea. Do you yeah. have a design available that we can see? Uh, no, I don't. I was not given one yet. They're still working on that. Yeah, because I've been I've been looking in a lot of places, and I've got a yes and a no. And a lot of people are saying, don't do just a pergola. If you're going to do it, do it so it's got a cover, because and don't go for a roll cover. Um, they rip. They don't last. They come in the wind, and then people. Abandoned. So what's the other kind? Yeah. So what kind of cover would you metal? Metal. 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 They get solid metal. But how do you take it off? You don't. No. You don't. So then it's a covered pergola. It's not technically it's like one of the, like porch. an open. Yeah. 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 More like a covered <laughs> patio. Not port, covered no. Patio. They, if they're going to build it, there are some. Um, and I yeah. and I, I apologize. I don't know the name of the, some um, local um, local construction company that's been doing a lot of uh, work around. I think he was up at the fields of making a snack, something uh, at some of the fields. Um, and he's going to apparently um, build it. He gave us a, an estimated price. Yeah. Uh, so it, it's not a model or anything. We're just using it based on, um, you know, what we tell him, what size we want. You know, have, he's going to have to have some company come in and build, uh, build some pilings, I guess, or dig some pilings, and then he'll come in and construct it. So I don't know about since it's kind of done like it's not through a company's um, pergola company. I don't know. Yeah, going to be creating a design. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. Can, right. can Glenn we, Pratt's really. Can we ask it. Glenn to come to one of our meetings yeah. and, and give us an overview? Because I'd like to thing. see, yeah. okay. especially where I've been really watching, like Falmouth just built a brand new. Um, <coughs> got one. I've been going around. When I see one, I've been looking around at it. Yeah. I might take some pictures of it. <laughs> just. Yeah, if Glenn could give us a presentation, that would okay. work. That would be great. Because you want it to be used. Yeah. Right. And you don't want it to cover it for the sun. And that's why I was thinking of having the, I don't want it open. I want the cover on it um, that we could pull back uh, when it's sunshiny and then put out if it's like a little bit um, cooler or, or a little bit of um, a little rain, not so much that it's going to, you know, destroy the top. So we need to look at other yeah. options. Over yeah, good, here. good. Yeah. Any questions or comments? Nope. Good. Can we get a motion to approve the, uh, the uh, treasurer's report? So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. All, all those in favor? All those in favor. <laughs> uh, all those against? Motion passes. Okay. Now, Nancy, for the director's report. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. All right. I just wanted to bring to everyone's attention. Um, if you haven't noticed, when you come in the front door, you'll see right over above the reception desk a beautiful um, painting. Uh, Kathy Bullock um, is a local artist. Artist. Uh, and donated to the Thomas Parker Avenue. Um, I'm sure a lot of people, when you see it, you'll recognize the, um, okay. the area. It's really, uh, really pretty, and the colors work perfectly in that spot. So great. I hope you'll um, take a look at that. It was a very kind thing for her to, to offer us. Um, I wanted to bring up next week, big week for um, the center and all of us, the National Accreditation. Sandy Johnson will be here. Uh, we're picking her up. She's supposedly taking, going directly. We'll pick her up at the park and ride in Rockland um, at 9:45. She'll come here and walk around, see. Well, actually, have her. Um, she's going to go in for the coffee, chat with some folks. Um, at 11 o'clock, she's going to tour the center, um, talk with me and Nettie, and give her any. She has any questions for us. Uh, twelve thirty, I believe, is the time that we um, were thinking for lunch here. It's a lunch meeting with the board and with Sandy. Sandy would like to talk to everybody, just kind of get a feeling of what the center's all about, and and meet you all. So, um, I would appreciate, um, and I thank you for all your um, responses to who will uh, be able to attend that because it's a. Is everybody in? For I that? didn't get that. You didn't get the uh, September eighteenth. Mm -hmm. I will. <laughs> Double check it and send it to you again. But that's I'll be there. Okay. Yeah. Nice that I, right. I responded. Awesome. Okay. Good. Uh, 
I'll send it to you again, Taffy, but it, that's when it is next Monday. Um, after she meets with the board, she's going to meet with the staff um, and ask questions and just get whatever information she needs from us. Um, 3.30 is, uh, according to this timeline, things might change. You know, this is just estimated. Um, we're going to, she and I will sit down um, and go through all, these are the manuals. Um, we'll go through everything that we sent to her. She'll have any uh, any additional questions that she has. Um, she will call a secondary reviewer. There's another one out in California who's also been looking at all our material, and the two of them will then ask questions about how we do things, um, how we would answer um, certain um, questions about the building, about the needs of the seniors, about um, the way we work around here. So um, Monday and afternoon. With, only with you. Only right? with me. Mm -hmm. uh, I and. Um, Sandy, helmet. I don't know if she'll, uh, I'm going to check with Sandy to see if she will, um, how she wants to do that, but according to her, it's You're having lunch here with her? The board you know, is having uh, lunch with her. Yeah. What are you doing for lunch? <laughs> yeah. You're not Who's cooking? I'm <laughs> just making sure. What, what's the plan for lunch? I'm bring in sandwiches. I would just get some um, deli meats from Stop and Shop. Somebody, is somebody okay? else is going to make the sandwich? How is this going to work? The sandwich is going to come made. Yeah, yeah. pre-made oh, sandwich. Oh, okay. Just get a sandwich tray. Yeah, sandwich platter. Can we do better than that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can if you can. What all this grant money? How about fresh? They make nice fresh cheese. Oh, that's beautiful. much my, nice sandwich platter. Yeah, good idea. Mm -hmm. do they they do platters like that. Fresh cheese. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Oh, the fruit tent. Oh, fruit tent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Different flavor, different sandwiches, like a variety of them. That's what I. Anything. anything okay. You want. <laughs> Five self made. Yeah. Anna just did. Yeah, I was going to say five self made. I mean, I think we should keep it in town. Yeah. Barrel does. He's a local. Yeah, they do great too. Oh, yeah. They the do. barrel's another one, too. Yeah. And a dessert platter, too. Yeah. They'll do a dessert platter, too. Okay. And bags of chips separate. Yeah. Right. We'll work on that. Right. We need those bags <laughs> of chips. Right. That's one talking. of my cracks. <laughs> So Nancy has, um, Sandy Johnson had a chance, she's gone through everything already, yes. right? So she's any had a chance to go through everything. She's asked a couple of questions with the um, long-term goals. Uh, she wants to know about the benchmarks. Um, in other words, what we've seen so far with the goals um, that we've had. Um, uh, for instance, like the one of the first goals when we did this, it was a 2020 uh, one to 25 long range plan, and one of them was to get the new um, uh, website up and running. So we're tracking now. I'm having to track how many hits we have versus how many we had before, just so that she can see what, what we're doing is working. Um, another one is to uh, really um, get should more go on the website. Uh, that was another one. So of we should all go on the website. To, um, open right. more <laughs> programming and get more systems. So we can easily yeah. show her that back when we started that, the trend is that we're, we're um, increasing um, numbers mm -hmm. um, around the center. So those are the kind of things we're working on now, getting all the um, those answers for her. Um, I think when you meet with, you might want to meet with Glenn first or, or talk to Glenn, because I know there's plans to uh, enlarge the center as far as the original plans. Oh, yeah, that was supposed to be phase two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you might want to have be versed on that so you can explain it to her. Yeah. Okay. When we put in the bowling alley and the, uh, <laughs> and the bar. Yeah, the I, I, don't, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, we'll yeah, be yeah. Phase yeah, we two for a while, but. <laughs> <laughs> right. Because that was going to be um, a social daycare. That's what they really Correct. want. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. Be, wow. Um, yeah. Which would be fabulous. I was going to say. We could do it. Yeah. yeah, that was a whole different, that's a whole different piece. Right. It wasn't right. part of the, the um, actual senior center. It's part of it, but it's a separate piece. Yeah. Right, exactly. Uh, so we'll look at that. But I would like um, you got be, be a whole. You have a week just to take a look at everything. I have the surveys in here that we've taken surveys. Um, if you guys are participants, you'll know that we do send out um, at the end of some of our programming. Um, ask questions about what you liked about the instructor, what you liked about the class, what you would like to see more of, that kind of thing. So um, we have those surveys are in here. We have. Um, the long range plan, we have our marketing plan, we have information about the facility. Uh, so just take a look through there if you have a, any interest. I have no idea what kind of questions she's going to ask. She could ask, you know, 
how do you find out, um, you know, how happy people are around here? Um, you know, how often does Nancy, um, you know, give you reports or how often do you look at the economics of the place? So these are the kind of things she'll probably be, be questioning. Um, how involved uh, are you? Do you have committees? I mean, these are various things that could come up. Um, so uh, just be prepared with anything. If any, if she's asking you anything and you really don't know, or if, because it's really not what we do, we could, you could always refer her back to me and say that we'll, you know, work on that, or that's something Nancy does. So you, you know, follow up with Nancy later. Or something. Like you have cheat sheets. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's the cheat sheet. One on one, or no? A, no, it's, no, it's all of us. Yeah. So it, and and so we'll we all be easily, able yeah. to throw in. Well, one of the things that came up in the surveys that we filled out was. Um, Whistleblower policy. Oh yeah, and we don't have one. Now, does the town have one? The town no. has a whistleblower policy. Can we work that into our document too? It, I, that I, is? it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it is in there. Yeah. And when you see, and that's one thing she did ask me. Um, I just got it this morning, um, so she's still looking over our last stuff. She asked for the um, town personnel policy. She wanted the um, first page of it, um, maybe because I don't know why she didn't ask for the whole guidebook, <laughs> but um, I took a lot of the policies from that guidebook and put it into our okay. uh, department ones. Uh, so this morning, I just sent her a copy of the guidebook. It has the front page, which has all the policies, and then it goes into detail. So um, she'll be reviewing that. She wants a, a, uh, one of the other things. She wanted a copy of what we have in each of our employee files, what we keep in there, what the town keeps in there. Um, doesn't stay here. It stays at the treasurer and collector's know. office. Uh, but I asked them for a sample of mine so that she could see what um, you know a typical um, one is. So I'll have that for her to review. Uh, she asked about the um, town finances. She wanted to see what the department finances. She wanted to see what's coming in and what's going out. Um, so she may have some questions for you, Elaine, that you can answer better than any of us. But so those are the kind of things she's been been really kind of digging in a little bit further on. Um, so we'll see between now and next week if she has any other questions for me. But, right but now, going, going through those employee reports, there should be some confidentiality there. There is. That's why I couldn't give that's her anybody right, else's. Yeah. 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 And so I gave her mine because okay. I released it. Um, I want to but, find out about those charges. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Right. Still exactly. And so <laughs> who is this person? Again, so her name is Sandy Johnson. Yeah. And she's, a. Uh, from what I understand, she was... Um, a director of a large uh, senior center uh, right outside of Chicago. Mm -hmm. And so she now, um, I assume she's retired, but that's just a guess. And so she's working with the National Senior Center um, Council on Aging um, Association to review um, different mm -hmm. ones throughout the country for accreditation <laughs> because she's been accredited. Uh, Where is she staying? At the... Um, uh, Rockland, which did not whatever the one of the ones over yeah. there. It's Are not we best for that? Um Yes, we will be playing for okay. that. Yep. Could you send us the town policy thing that you sent to her? Sure. Maybe that would be a yeah. guidebook for all of us to have. No. Yeah. 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 Yeah, because when I hit that on the survey, I said, "Whoa, we've been through a lot of stuff. We haven't been through that." Yeah. Okay. And the program as a whole, I think it might be helpful to have perspective on that. Didn't you say that this accreditation is not going to continue after 2024? Is that what it is? It's going to change. It's going to change. Right. So okay. as, that's why we had to get all this in by um, June 30th, because mm -hmm. as of July 1st, because the accreditation, there's, I don't know, hundreds thousands of senior centers across the country and only uh, 104 I believe are accredited so it was such a daunting task for so many they figured you know what we want more senior centers to reach the level of a you know the highest standard we don't want to put it so far out of reach so what they decided to do was lower the bar lower the bar. Yeah. yeah so as of after so that's why we wanted to get in there yeah. we want to be at that higher standard as of july 1st they're now reformulating it i believe they're going to still have the same thing but they won't have from what my understanding is they have not put it into um, concrete but they're saying they're thinking they'll still have the same high standards but they won't have a, like that 
this peer reviewer coming out, walking around, talking to people, that's a big deal because then they really get a sense of what we're doing here. We can't just put anything on paper. Uh, afterwards, what their thought is, is they will still have everybody have to do, like show them that they meet their certain standards, but they're not having the peer reviewer come out and talk to all the, the participants and talk to the board members and really get a feel for it. Um, I believe it's just going to be paperwork that speaks. <clears throat> so, but then, yeah. So, what, why you're saying we'll we'll it's, have the better accreditation? Will anyone even know that? It's good for five years, um, and so we can still market ourselves as an accredited senior center mm -hmm. for the next five years. And then, when they renew it, um, in next by five years from now, we'll do whatever they are their regular. We'll just have to do a little update. Update, yeah. right? Yeah, right. But well, I guess, uh, well, yeah, I'm I'm kind of confused a little bit um, what's the difference between the two what well, well, one are they the, different levels the, well, we'll have to find out they have not told us what they're going to do next time they're just going to make it so that more they're probably going to uh, it's a uh, money is a big thing too it's it's it cost us uh, I'll have to check that thing I think it's like thousand yeah it's close to a thousand dollars to get accredited because we have to um, get all the paperwork in and it's the, the, up front. Right, based on how big the senior center is. Wear a is. sash or anything? Yeah. <laughs> they ought to at least give you a pin. Super. So I don't know how they're going to change it and what they're going to do yeah. the next time. I would think they're going to lower the cost, number one, so that it makes it more feasible for some of these smaller, especially rural, rural um, communities. Um, but they'll still. It will still be an accreditation that you still have to meet certain high standards. So we want to get in. We wanted to get in at the ground floor to say that we are like one of the top tiered senior centers in the country if, if we are able to um, show that to her. And then from there on, every five years, they'll just reevaluate based on whatever their, their new policy and standards are. But it's really, it's all it's going to do is, is let people know um, as a recognized uh, accredited center that we are, we meet the highest standards in the nation. Um, mm -hmm. So it's not something that we had to do, but it, it's only going to bring up, uh, keep us uh, on the top of our game. We voted to do it. We voted so to do it. Right. And yeah. when we <laughs> voted, there wasn't choices. Yeah. It was yeah. just right. Right. what it was. Yeah, and not. since yeah. then, it's changed. Yeah. yeah. But I remember our discussions when we voted on that because there were several meetings. The, the net result is very little to us. I mean, it, yeah. whether we get yeah. the accreditation or not, yeah. 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 whether yeah. we get the accreditation or not, people are still going to come or not come. I mean, it really has. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, I don't I was gonna say I'm not going there because they're not accredited. Right. <laughs> right. Nobody yeah, they won't even know. Well, they won't know. If we don't get it, we're not telling anyone. That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course we have to go away. But there has been a lot of work done to, to get it yeah. to one by thousand sure. bucks. To done. improve. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. It's all an improve. improvement right. and everything yeah. we've done yeah. and looking over what they think are best practices <laughs> versus what we've been doing and, and what we've needed to do is to lift ourselves up to get to that level so that that we're doing is all good. It's only benefiting the senior right. center is benefiting the seniors. It's just, it's just making us mo more, um, you know. It kind of gives you some parameters to measure yourself it, against, which, yeah. instead of just thinking, yeah, we're doing a good job. Right, right. Excellent, excellent way to put it. And I think the only local organizations that have is Quincy, right? Anybody no. else have it? Yeah. Um, Hingham has it. Duxbury has it. Okay. Marshfield has it. Oh. Um, Situate is going for it. We're going for it, and I believe those are the only. I mean, it's kind. It's in our local area. I think it's 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 going to be kind of expected yeah. because there's so many around us um, who do it. But um, outside of this area, it's Massachusetts is just always so much exactly. further above yeah. everybody else anyway. <laughs> 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 Well, so just going one. forward with that, so that's um, so in the afternoon, it's all what well, uh, I'll be handling, and hopefully, so you'll see her oh, on the every time I like um, to throw it in, <laughs> in my suitcase. Um, when one question at 12 30 when she meets with the board of directors are you going to attend that as yes. well okay yes. she's been working on uh this. the next morning she's going to at nine o'clock come back um, we'll pick her up in the morning from her um, hotel in rockland she'll come here and she'll meet with the participants as they're she's going to um 
go into a program observation. So if you're in any of your yoga classes or oh, whatever, yeah. we have on. Um, <laughs> look look <laughs> busy. <laughs> yeah, you may see some behind and seeing how the classes are run. Uh, so she'll be there for yoga, probably walk in. And we also have a um, the painting classes being um, upstairs. So she'll probably observe that as well. Um, 11 o'clock, we've got a few um, volunteers we've asked to <laughs> come back and be around. So um, if you can come back on Tuesday as well to, uh, as a volunteer. Um, and then around noon, she'll um, take off. And then we won't hear until she'll then bring it back to the board at National Senior Centers. And then they will write up a report and send it to us. So I don't know how long that will be. So that's. That's um, what's going on next week. Uh, and I wanted to bring to your attention, we thank very much Social Service League. They're just so good to us. And as if you had noticed the front landscaping, um, they had a landscaper come out, pulled up. I had a tree about this big that was uh, um, growing in front that was not supposed to be there, like a big weed right in front of my window. <laughs> so they, uh, the landscaper was able to pull that up, pull all the weeds out, kind of trim some of the bushes, um, helped with the rose bushes over there, um, kind of prune them back. So. Uh, it, it looks, I think, really great, and hopefully we will be able to uh, keep that up um, a little, a little bit better. But it has been almost ten years since too much has been done. They did. Here. They did do a job around the bocce court too. Yeah, so they, they cleaned that up. Yeah. Um, wanted to bring to your attention because of the success of the yoga, uh, the nine thirty yoga class. We're now going to have an eight thirty uh, yoga class as well, uh, which is great because if you come in on Tuesday morning or if you attend the class and you know that it's like pe person to person to person. <laughs> Yeah, uh, really. Uh, I think it was deterring people from coming in because they. Oh, yeah, crowded. I was. Sure. Um, and also, it wasn't fair to Amy to have to be watching for, you know, so many people. And then some people were saying open the wall, but then it's like so big. So uh, we've decided to change it to a um, 830 class and a 930 class. So hopefully that's going to uh, encourage new people to come in. And it's it's a better experience for people. You have a, um, someone mentioned, because I did go to the 830 class, and there were eight of us, I believe. And yeah, then, of course, the said. 930. There were 16 at the 930. Yeah. But that was the day after Labor Day. Right. I think tomorrow right. will be much better. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's small. Yeah. yeah. But if we don't hit more, what do we have a cutoff we're working towards for the Tuesday? Like if to right. If it doesn't pick up, if I can't keep it, you know, if that's the case, we'll keep everybody at 930, which is the big class. Um, we're going to give it some time. I'd like right. to see at least uh, 10 people on a regular that's what basis. I thought. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try to distract them at 830. And that's a good time. 830? Yeah. The 930 is a little late. Yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah. So some people, 830 is so much better. Time. Yeah. Right. And other, other time. Can't get on with you, Daddy. Exactly. Exactly. So hopefully, it will spread that word. And it's great she's doing it. And it's she agreed to do it. And I know that um, from uh, again from all the service that we sent out, the uh, Pilates is another one that people mm -hmm. want to see. Mm -hmm. Pilates class, they want to see more of that one. So mm -hmm. we're trying to figure out another day um, that works um, in the week that the, the instructor can also do it. And hopefully, we'll get people that come in for Pilates um, for a second day. Mary Jane willing to do another. I, as far as I know, she is. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to um, let everyone know that the formula grant, um, so before we were getting $12 per elder, and now, we're, oh, and I didn't even put it, and now it's up to $14 per elder. And I don't know if I gave you what, it was 2,025 um, seniors over the age of 60 is what they calculated per um the umass study uh but i think it came up just a little bit more and i apologize i don't have that number um i think it's like 2136 or something just as but i'll get you that um number eleanor before you put it in the minutes okay. that, number is that, yeah. is that just people in the the town over yeah. age 60 over yeah. six, per us six, per the us <coughs> And that's what we get and, um, this year. and that will be yeah fiscal year 24. 24. Um, as you all may have heard or know fred huntwork um, resigned as a van driver uh, but we've already got a new um, 
a, a new driver, Steve Chamberlain, who is starting on Wednesday. I think you'll all really enjoy him. He worked as a sub in Hingham for a while, and then he was working as a regular driver in Middleborough. So he's worked on with senior centers. Um, he's familiar with the lift. He can hit the, the, um, the ground running. He lives in Hanover, and he's familiar. He, I think when he was in high school, uh, he moved over to Cohasset, so he's familiar with everybody here. So it would be a, a great addition. Oh, here we go. So the pergola, that's the name I couldn't remember, and now I have it here, Bob Barrows. The, um, is the carpenter. Um, so we will um, see if I can get Glenn to the next meeting and he can exp expound on that. If you have any shredding, remember we had shredding uh, scheduled back in May and it was canceled because of the, um, the district attorney's office and the trucks and all. So they're coming back on uh, September 18th, which 18th, is next the Monday. Day of the lunch, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Red Cross presentation is coming up on um, a week from Wednesday, and we're collaborating with the Library for Herman Melville, which is a one-man play. Who's um, Stephen Collins? We've had him here for other things. He did poetry for us one a few years back, um, and he did Walt Whitman. So he's really he's a, a good actor, and I think that'll be a great uh, presentation um, uh, at the end of the month. Uh, Wilco Commons saw uh, 326 individuals um, for over 1,112 visits uh, for various events and activities here, and according to transportation, 62 um, older adults were transported to medical, social, and shopping, 26 on the electric vehicle. Do you know how um, the average, I guess, percentage of people like out of the 2,000, is 326 good or? Uh, yes, yeah, so we see about, so <clears throat> it is good because it's probably, so 200 is 10%, so it's 10% of the older adult. Um, the thing that, it would probably be less because we have out of town people, not just oh. asset residents. Um, we could delve, you know, deeper dive and get that number, but it's still a strong percentage oh. for a community this size to have this kind of activity. It, it, okay. it is a good representation. Questions? I've got a recommendation for your after hours phone menu. Uh, I call after hours and I go into a menu and it tells me who you are and what, how to get to you and Diane and the rest. Unfortunately, all I'm calling for is reserved for a program. Mm -hmm. So I think the first thing on your menu should be, if you'd like to reserve or cancel a program or lunch, hit this number. Because most people from the outside don't know who does what. what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, That's true. Very true. And, I've done and, that, and you have to go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Then, well, I, wait. Yeah. yeah, I know. Or pick. Yeah, Richard does everything. Something. You know, you know, but it's not fair to him. But if you could set that up, so the first thing is, if you want a program or a lunch, either to reserve or to cancel, hit this number. Okay. I think yeah, that's, that's a good very idea. Good. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even really figure we should do that online. Pardon? For that reason, I guess. Right. And sometimes you wonder whether they're ever going to get the message. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes they don't. The but yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then the only thing is about reserving one, because sometimes if it's full, we don't want somebody to say, oh, I'm coming for the yeah. lobster lunch on Thursday, and assuming because they said that they're in, because yeah. they're not. Well, no, we're... but I mean, part of when you get transferred to that number, whatever it is, you're going to have to provide your name, the, the program you want, your phone number. So Richard has always been good about calling if something's backed up. But but again, just getting to that point. To, to say yeah. it out there. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's probably a good idea. Yeah. I have a, I don't know if this is the time or if you're the person, but um, who's in charge of the coffee in the lobby? <laughs> that is a good question. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, Richard usually is the one who um, remembers to put it out and gets the creamer and all. So. Is there any chance we could get decaf cups? I a number of people have asked yeah. oh, about yeah. that. Okay, all right. <laughs> we can do 
that. Isn't that donated from somebody? They, launch a... Yeah, it's, um, yeah. Sometimes we get donations of coffee, and I know that the box somebody donated, and sometimes I don't even know who donates them because they just drop them Show off up. and then yeah. um, and then leave. So we have boxes, and those are the ones we've been using, and none of them are decaf, but we can purchase decaf mm. and put it out there. So yes. that there's not mm. a. So thank you for bringing that up. It's fine. It's hard to run. Uh, another is that. I'll let you finish. <laughs> no Richard runs it for me. No one can. <laughs> I thought you were going to ask for a new machine. No, no one knows how to run it. No one I know. <laughs> it's got directions right there. I can't oh, no. do it. Ah, Richard well. comes out and does it for me. Uh, <laughs> I, I've been through a couple of lunches this summer. The quality has gone downhill. I don't know if it's, I don't think you guys are involved in the summer. I don't know if I'm tending it at the lunch. Who else is? <laughs> uh, so, um, and it's surprising because during the winter, uh, the food was excellent. So just, uh, and it's not the, the quantity, it's the quality is not the same as it, as it was. And perhaps it's just the lunches I chose. But a couple of times I've heard people ask for iced tea. And I don't know if that is a possibility that we could start having that having available. It. And if have, again, that was just a summer thing, so I don't know. People Could have asked for thing? iced coffee also. Yeah. Well, um, you can't make it too tough on the volunteers. Well, no, no, I, I, I know many, that. Too many choices. Yeah. Um, but I know um, we have, if we have extra coffee the day before, we um, every once in a while we'll save the coffee and use it for our iced coffee. Oh. Um, so that's on a, a once in a while basis. Um, we could certainly buy a jug of iced tea, though, as well in the summer. That's what people want. We just need to hear these things. I don't know what they're hearing or if they're even speaking up. A lot of times people don't speak up and mm. then um, it never gets back to us. But um, Well, I've been at tables where people have asked and been told they don't have it and they're mm. comfortable with water and coffee. Uh, but it might be nice if we had that. I had something else. On that it's too. pretty inexpensive if you buy the powdered you know, just a can. Oh, and just and make you can it make a oh, yeah, that's, thing yeah, yeah. that would be good for the yeah. three days, probably, and then. <laughs> Anything else, Nancy? Uh, that's it for me. Any questions for Nancy? Um, I have one more thing. People are coming here to saying, you're on the board now, right? So, it's so can you give us that power. Chef coffee? Um, but someone asked me uh, in the town if there's anyone still that does the um, smoke detectors and carbon dioxide detectors, mm -hmm. and if there's anyone that can just, like, put in a light bulb. Well, they do that. Yeah. 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 Mm. Well, is Cohasset Care still a thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how do you contact them? Uh, yeah, you call the um, business line of the fire department, yeah. and you press prompt one, and you leave a message. Oh, it okay. It says Cohasset Care. So it's a, um, yeah. So Captain line. Ford doing that? Yes. Yeah. And they'll do light bulbs. Great. Well, yeah, I, they well, do they'll light do bulbs. light bulbs if they come out and do the whole review, right? I don't know if they would come out oh, and yeah. just do a light bulb. Separate from it? I think so. I mean, you know, they'll come out and change your batteries, smoke detector batteries. Right. Um, so the, uh, doing a light bulb is the same thing. If that's where you can reach. I have friends that I know. They also take the covers off of batteries, uh, off of um, detectors. Like, I had a detector that was going off, but oh, it yeah. shuts off. Yeah. And I couldn't open uh -huh. it. So oh, yeah. I went down with oh. it going beep, beep. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 it's all yours. <laughs> And they were fine. Uh -huh. they, they said any time, bring it down. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, yeah. so you took it down. I took it down. Oh, I want to really response. I mean, we've only had them come once, but we have neighbors that have had them come multiple times. And so yes. they yes. totally told me about the light bulbs, you know, like. Great. Should we put a reminder in the Vista about that program? Yeah, that's a good idea. They put a program. And they're usually more than happy to help, you know. Did we get somebody for the kitchen? Were we looking for? Um, we actually have someone who is interested um, that we're going to be talking with. Because some of these things would be things that could go to that person. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, that request. Yes. I was thinking. For sure. Yeah. And also, um, 
what are we going to talk about um, the next town dinner? Yeah, we haven't gotten there yet. Oh, okay. Anything else, Nancy? Yeah, uh, that is all for me. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess we do. We make a motion. Can someone make a motion to accept the director's report? Move, so move. Second. Um, second. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Okay, so now we're on to our general comments, and I had a couple to start with. Uh, first of all, since we changed the meeting time today to accommodate the 9 11 uh, ceremony, a couple of times it's come up about what about changing the meeting to 10 o'clock every month as opposed to 9 o'clock? So just open it for discussion. Well, we used it's to been be well 10. discussed. <laughs> Ten o'clock, and then it backed up to nine. But we had yeah. Zoom problems I like nine one time. Yeah. yeah, that's right. We had Zoom problems. Zoom problems. Zoom. Zoom. Been doing nine thirty, right? Nancy yeah, has. <laughs> Nancy's already <laughs> checked out, and the Zoom is available if we do it at ten instead of nine. We did eight thirty for a while. Oh, yeah, that oh. Was <laughs> well, I quit. It was because of Paul. I mean, because of people who need to go to work. Right. Some so. we had working members in yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, the workforce. Although, so that's why we were doing it earlier yeah. in the day. But um, I don't know. What? So how many flexible? would like nine o'clock? I like nine. Nine's, Nine's good. good. It gets your day going. And well, ten. Yeah. Oh, ten. Okay. Well, I can go either. Okay. I'll go either way. I guess we've had our discussion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the future meetings will Shoot. go back to 9 a.m. All right. So be it. Uh, oh, do you want to go back? Okay. Now, 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 compromise and do 9.30. Oh, well, uh, that's a possibility. Okay. okay. That's it. That's okay. That gives you a little more wiggle room. 9.30 is already not going on. Yeah, okay, I'd come at 9.30. Oh, yep. now there's some interest. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I just <laughs> want to take a break. Can I get a motion? We can the motion? coffee hour first. I moved. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 we meet at 9.30. Terrific. <laughs> I know. I like it. Good. <laughs> we can try for 10.30. <laughs> try for lunch. Oh. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anything else open for general discussion? The meeting. The, I mean, the lunch. Dinner. Yes, I'm right. sorry. Okay. The dinner. The dinner. <laughs> we, we had talked. I took a note that we were going to try something in September, but I haven't heard anything since. So I don't, yeah, so it's too late for that. The summer luncheon this week, right? Yeah. Right. Thursday. End of summer. Yeah, this week is the end of summer one. Yeah. Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. So that kind of takes care of September. September. Yeah. October. So we were thinking about another dinner. Trying to do a dinner. We only when was it the last one we did was February, wasn't it? No, we no, did one in the spring. We did one in the spring, didn't we? Yeah. Was it April? Yeah. Okay. I, think it went the last one. I think it was yeah. May that was the last one. I think one. May was May. Well, what goes on well, in October? Do you do stuff for? Well, I think November, December is probably washed out with holidays. Well, yeah. we do yeah. Thanksgiving, we do Thanksgiving dinner. Right. We, be, we do something for Christmas. It's yeah. So it's October or January. Try to the end of October. October would be the next. October would be good. We could do a Halloween. October. Kind of theme. So I think one of the either Hull or Hingham. I, I'd like to make a suggestion costumes. about these oh, community yeah. dinners. Okay. Um, I've done the last two. Um, Dan is having health issues and is going to be out of commission for Thanksgiving and I don't know about October as well, but uh, it, it may be time to start trying to recruit some new people. I don't mean anybody's quitting or anything, but we're not going to do this forever. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a lot and it's a lot of a learning curve to figure out how the kitchen works and everybody that works in it and all that stuff. So uh, you might want to cast the word out there that we're 
encouraging people to consider doing things in the kitchen in there so that it doesn't always fall on the same people all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know that that's a huge consideration, and we certainly do never want to overburden anyone, especially um, you, you people who are constantly our go-to people. So I know that's a huge um, part of what Lies has been trying to do is is get more people interested, more chefs, more everything. So I'm hoping with the kitchen coordinator that will be more more likely that we could use that person as a backup for the that. It, but it's an ambitious program for an all volunteer force. Mm -hmm. The fact that we have it and that we do it is right, pretty right. remarkable. Um, and I wouldn't want to see it suffer for right. lack of interest. Yeah. The, your uh, uh, position for the for the kitchen, what are the hours on that? It's flexible, but basically we want people here during uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So they have to would go out and um, do bulk food shopping for us and kind of uh, so part -time. flexible, but it will be part time. Okay. Yep. Well, do you think you want to stand down in October and not do? No, it? no. I'll be happy to do one for October. Okay. So more like a Halloween one. one. Yeah, towards the end of October. Be kind of fun. Do we need to start thinking about hiring a chef as she is. well as the oh, a chef? Oh, no, the chef as yeah. opposed to, in addition to a coordinator, is that too large of a battle right now? Chris has told me one of times he will not get a chef in here, and that's mm -hmm. why we worked okay. into the kitchen coordinator. He likes the idea of the volunteers he, um, doing it because it's been <laughs> such a wonderful program. It works for him. Great. Prices <laughs> uh, pick up his back. <laughs> yeah, right. So uh, I, I think that would be a bigger battle. I'd like to see how the kitchen coordinator works out, how much we have that. to do as yeah. the, that being the backup um, for the volunteer chefs, and then to take that on the next time after we the dust settles on this position. <laughs> but, but they should be aware, town hall should be aware of the strain that this has taken on the center and that you know, we might down the road be looking for it. Looking for it, yeah. yeah. He's been notified. Oh, good. Have you ha gotten any requests for a community dinner? Heard from anybody? I, I have not heard from anybody. Okay. And so, whichever one we pick, we just have to make sure it's not on a, a select board meeting night. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. Um, I'd have to let me just see if I can find out. Yeah. But, you know, it's, it's immaterial anymore to do it on a Tuesday, right? Any day is just as bad as any other day. Uh, well, right. Well, that's true. We'd have to make sure that we close at five o'clock now, but we just have to make sure we have it. We'd still have it at five o'clock, and I just have staff stay. Yeah, but it doesn't have to be on a Tuesday any longer. Uh, I prefer it. I still prefer it on a Tuesday, okay. uh, since the rest of the week we close at four or we close at twelve fifteen, and that means people would be um, okay longer. Long well, do we longer. want to pick a Tuesday? Do we want to pick like the twenty fourth? Now, just so we'll when is the we won't meet again until I'm October. Let me see if I can find that out now. They may be meeting every week as it comes right to town meetings. Oh yeah, they want to. They want to. They want to sell us on a bunch of new stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Why can't they meet somewhere else? <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Again, yeah. Because yeah, the town hall's falling down. That's right. Oh, oh, oh yeah. 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 Yes. yeah. It's only twenty-five million. Come on. No, it's twenty employees. Nine million with the interest. Thirty-nine million. I love that guy. For those twenty employees. Stood up and yeah. said, the twenty employees. They can't get the Valorac on in on Jan July first. I was like, couldn't see you. It was hilarious. <laughs> As he stood under the tarp. That catches the leaks <laughs> in the gym. Do you have a date in mind? I know the tenth is being. Um, yeah. How about the twenty fourth? Yes. It's twenty fourth. They are here. Um, I don't see it. It looks like the seventeenth is free. Um, and let's see, the 31st. Um, 
Oh, the 31st. No, you don't. They don't want Halloween. Halloween. Oh, right. Halloween. 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 Yeah. Halloween. Yeah. Halloween. Yeah. But it, okay. okay, when's Columbus Day? Nine. Do we have to go back to that bylaw that says it's seniors first? Yeah, but I was just I'm not going to bring it up. <laughs> We're going back to right? the bylaw that says it's the only Thursday, the only Tuesday we have available to do it, and they can go somewhere else. I thought when he was here, it was if he puts it in the schedule, we're supposed to uh, honor it. Remember yeah. that was a big thing about the schedule. So he plugged them all in, and that's why I can. Oh. It's plugged in. <laughs> well, how about since it's being recommended by the chef on the 24th, we tell town hall, we can do it on the 24th, but we don't do it. If and I... let him take the ramification. Well, why why cause a problem? I mean, yeah, if, I know. If, I if the seventeenth works, let's just yeah, take that's it. That's good for you, though. Yeah, I mean, it's up to yeah, you. Yeah, I, I can do the seventeenth. Oh, too. you can. Okay. We'll cause a problem, but I don't think we need to do it yeah. over this. Yeah, no, I agree. <laughs> and then, then as far as the seventeenth, now, you would put together the menu mm -hmm. and volunteers. Mm -hmm. Are you set for volunteers? Yeah, we, well, we never have any problem getting yeah, enough people do right. to, okay. to what needs to be done. Now, have, where are you as far as publishing the Vista for us? Uh, it is coming up today. It's, it's, um, yeah, I think she's expected to put it, we're putting it together. So she's, have, I have a vote. It's only the, so, yeah, I, I think she's got a one week. So. Okay, so, so we got to decide to now. We got to decide. So when you want a menu by? Um, with well, today is the oh, I don't know what day it is today. The 11th. September 11th. Oh, it's probably it's sooner than next week because she usually gets it out by that's why I brought 15th. it up. Yeah, I believe she's trying to get it out on Thursday because she has uh, someone proofread it on Wednesday. So, like today, yeah, yeah, today, tomorrow, maybe Thank tomorrow. You. It's not a big deal. <laughs> we don't have to well, let's put the menu in. We need a menu. Yeah, we need a menu. If we, we don't need a menu. <laughs> Well, we just like on the on the <laughs> people like to know what what's, what's coming, being uh, right. They like to know what they're coming. They're signing up. Halloween surprise. It's yeah, so October surprise. The fall festival. The fall festival. Mystery <laughs> meat. Roast beef, gravy, and mashed potatoes. And I'll be there. <laughs> we can do that. Yeah, one of my favorites. The meat's so expensive. Yeah. What do I care? Yeah. My money. <laughs> you got grants up the yin yang, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the seventeenth, menu to follow, and, and so yes. make it so in the. Uh... Is the seventeenth right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Do the seventeenth. All right. Okay, I do like that idea: roast so. beef and gravy. <laughs> it actually, does. So. And what's the limit we put on that, people? Well, we have cut it off at fifty, I think. Before. I think so. Yeah. I think yeah. last time we, the first time we had done it, we started we. Dropped it at 40 and yeah. then we let it go and it was around 40 anyway. Yeah. So, um, but if you want us to, well, if it gets more popular and you want to have 40, it 50, off, it's all the same. It's just another right, right, right. bag of potatoes. Right. <laughs> right. As long as we'll have enough and you think the volunteer, every you guys will all be here to help I out. Love being so. When's your wedding? 14. <laughs> Take you, vacation after are that. Are they going somewhere? No, but but Andrew's home too. For oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, taking him back. One of us at all. What's that? <laughs> What's I can peel it for you. I can peel no. fast. What's an easy <laughs> one? <laughs> there aren't any. Uh, yeah. I mean, we'll see. The, yeah. I, when I when I plan menus, believe me, I keep my best interests in mind when I'm trying to decide what it's yeah, going to no, be. Sure. I'm, yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Dan likes to be a little more complicated, and that's fine if he wants to do that. But I like to keep things simple. Mm -hmm. So I, I forget what the last one I did was, but I, you know, it's, it's usually just three macaroni things. Macaroni and cheese. Yeah, it was macaroni and cheese yeah, and ham. Yeah. And it wasn't complicated, but it's it was, good. you know, it was comfort food. You like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I try to try to think of things that people wouldn't cook for themselves. You know, you might not mm -hmm. make a big roast beef. You might not cook a whole ham or something. Yeah, but yeah, something that hands. everybody likes. I, I have to think about it. What do we charge for that? Ten dollars? Five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars. Twenty family. Okay. Roast beef may be out of line for five dollars. 
Well, it doesn't. The five dollars doesn't have to be what determines. Yeah, we've got some cost. stipend for that anyway, right? Okay, yeah, we've, got, we've got money. Well, we're not. If we do one now, we know we can't do it until at least January. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So yeah, okay. Yeah. Sounds like do it right. I think we should. You know, I won't be there. <laughs> Thanks, Pat. Where are you going to be, Are you going on a trip or something? Hopefully. Yes, I'll be in Hilton Head. Yes. <laughs> yes. Good. Oh, that's awesome. Good. Okay. Okay. The, so we've decided the community dinner on the on the seventeenth of October. Yeah. Um, anything else to bring up? We've agreed to 9.30 for the future meetings. And, and remember, next month's meeting, uh, the second Tuesday, uh, the second Monday is a holiday, so it's the third. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Tuesday, yeah. So, so like good to bring that up. Day day before when? Before. Oh, God. Monday. Third Monday. Right. Third Monday. Oh, okay. okay. Which is right before the dinner. Yeah. 16. Yeah. What's the date? 10 16. 10 16. So we can try your hors d'oeuvres during the meeting, <laughs> the ninth. And and the second, uh, typically the second Tuesday works for everybody. We're going to keep that. Second Monday, I mean. I'm sorry. Second, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. If there being no further business, I'll uh, accept a motion to adjourn. So moved. <laughs> Second. Second. <laughs> on the motion, on the motion, on the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? We are finished. Thank you. Awesome. Eleven oh five.